Okay, so the problem is the summation of negative one to the n times pi to the n all over three to the two n times two n factorial. And is this convergent or divergent? So the best way to do this is to use the ratio test, which states that if the limit angle to infinity of the absolute value of a to the n plus one over a to the n, meaning that this is a to the n, then the series is convergent. So, if you set that up, it's going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of negative 1 to the n plus 1 times pi to the n plus 1 over 3 times 2 to the n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 factorial times by just this but reversed. Okay, so that this whole thing is just this when this is equal to a n. So now the process is to when you want to cancel things as much as you can. Otherwise, the ratio test will not work. So if you simplify this out, absolute value will eliminate this because it's negative and this. So then the, this the rest of this will all be positive all the time. So you can drop the absolute values. So we're left with, and if you distribute the, uh, um, the power, it'd be pi to the n times pi over, same thing here, 3 to the 2n times 3 squared times, distributing this would be 2n plus, 2n plus 2, but the factorial, you want to distribute that out again, so it's going to be 2n plus 2 times 2n factorial times a 3 to the 2n times 2n factorial over pi to the n. So now we just cancel pi to the n, pi to the n, 3 to the 2n, 3 to the 2n, 2n factorial, 2n factorial. So we are left with this. We've got a pi, we have a 9, and a 2n plus 2, and that is all canceled. So, plugging in infinity, you're going to get pi over infinity, right, because, you know, this 2n plus 2 is going to be infinity, which is equal to zero. So the limit is zero, of this whole thing is zero, which is less than one. So by the ratio test, just rewriting, by the ratio test, the series is convergent. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.